Hi, welcome to Todd's Tips. I'm Todd Barsness, a full-time voiceover talent, and Todd's Tips is a feature of VO Marketing Pro. Now, if you'd like more information about VO Marketing Pro or anything else related to voiceover, just visit our Facebook page, website, or contact us via email. The links are located here. Hello and welcome into the studio. That's Todd Barsness across from me. I'm Hudson Barsness. If you're new to the channel, uh, dad's been in voiceover for 14 years. I've just started my fourth year of voiceover in April. We're both full time. Um, and this is a voiceover related YouTube channel. So if uh, you're not interested in voiceover or maybe you're not in voiceover and you are interested about it, you've come to the right place. Or if you're in voiceover and you have been here, welcome back. Thanks for joining us. We're gonna do our Todd's tips. Um, as we always do, uh, once again, if you are new, just a little bit about dad. Dad's been doing voiceover for 14 years. The last eight years has been over six figures, voiceover alone. Seven years, over $200,000 in voiceover alone. The last four years, $300,000 in voiceover alone. No coaching, no demo production, nothing else. When we give our numbers, that's what they are, is, is voiceover alone. Um, and we make sure that we differentiate if there is something else like for me, I edit. So anyway, this isn't our numbers video. That'll be later. So you can see that later. Um, but we're gonna do Todd's tips. So I'm sending it over to dad. Go ahead. So the financial numbers are just to, again, cause you to stop and maybe give me a little bit of an ear. The caveats that we have here on the board are to cause you to just put your hand to your chin and think a little bit, not just say, well, Todd does it. I have to do it or I have to do it exactly this way. There are business principles that I share, and those are principles that I think everybody needs to employ in some form, some way or another. And uh, But it, you need to be a good learner. You need to take what I say and apply it to your specific situation, and that's why we have these caveats. Underneath Todd's tips, we've had these Todd's do's and don'ts for the last year or so. And I'm going to do a do today, mm. but... We're going to lead into something different for about seven weeks. And um, I'll tell you about that coming up in just a minute. All right. So I do believe in what's called flipping the script. According to the Cambridge Dictionary, the phrase flipping the script means to do something completely different or in the opposite way from the way it usually is done. Now, some folks we know try to flip the script just to get attention, to stand out, to sell books, to get views, to make money or become famous. That's why they do things the opposite of standard practice. Not me. The way I've built my VO business has come from just plain hard work, determination, and perseverance. When I started my VO career over 13 years ago, all I cared about was making a living to feed my family and pay the bills. I had no intention of doing anything more than that. And it wasn't until I was 12 years in to my VO career, full-time VO career, and made over $1.6 million in VO alone that I started to provide my opinions <laughs> of VO in public. Now that's very different as well. Again, until I was 12 years in and had established a business that, according to NAVA, the National Association of Voice Actors, and their 2024 survey, has put me in the top 4% of earners in VO the last eight years. I didn't share my views or opinions. Bottom line, what I'm going to say isn't just me trying to say something controversial. It's not me trying to go against the grain just to stand out. These thoughts are tried and true, and they can be substantiated by my success in VO alone income. I'm explaining myself and my background because what I've learned and what I think needs to be happening in the voiceover industry is radical. It truly is flipping the script. When it comes to the logic of building a successful VO business. It's flipping the script. This radical flipping of the script is seen in my seven building blocks of VO success. And for the next seven weeks, uh, for Todd's tips, I'm gonna highlight each building block and you'll see 
why they flipped the script. Now, just let me tell you what those are. And we've talked about those before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the bottom building block, the foundation is who I listen to. That's the most important foundational building block, who I listen to. Mindsets are the second. Third is the all-important business mindset. So not only mindsets, but then I even include in my third building block, business mindsets, because we need to be in business as a primary mindset. Then processes. Fifth is marketing. Sixth, audio. And seventh, performance. And you can see why that flips the script, because most of the time, it's just the opposite. This is almost completely opposite of the industry, what it's been in the past. Most of the time, it's completely flipped around. Performance, 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 acting, 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 audio, equipment, audio, equipment, marketing then. (laughs) Those three especially. Why is this? Well, maybe it's just simply because the industry has changed so much. But I think especially now, There's an emphasis on the glitz and glamorous dream of voiceover. Also, to be quite honest with you, my way of doing things, as opposed to what's going on in the industry now, is not very sellable or scalable for a myriad of the voiceover coaches that are out there, and there are a lot of them. So we're not going to talk much more about it right now unless you have some comments or questions, but those are my seven building blocks of VO success. And it's a flipping of the script, not because I had a plan to flip the script Mm -hmm. or not because uh, I just want to stand out or sell books or do anything that these are just things that as I've watched the industry and as I've done it myself, I just know these things are true. And the biggest thing is, is if you don't know who to listen to and they don't talk to you about the mindsets, especially business mindsets. You're not going to be able to do any marketing. You're not going to be able to do, it won't matter what kind of gear you have, and it won't Mm -hmm. matter how good of an actor you are. You are not going to be in business for very long. So that's why we need to start there. And next time we get together, I'm going to be sharing more about who I listen to, the foundational building block. Sounds good. Thank you for that. If you're interested in more videos like these Todd's Tips, you can go check them out in our Todd's Tips playlist on the channel. Uh, Next up, we're going to do our numbers. We're going to give our voiceover numbers, what we did, how many jobs we did, all that stuff um, with John from VO Marketing Pro, which is a business we run. If you want more information about the two things that we do, if you're new, we do VO Marketing Pro and VO Marketing Pro Plus. They're two different things. One's more for beginners. The other one's more for established voiceovers. If you don't know what you'd fit into, feel free to ask because we'd be happy to help you out because we want to see you do well. So anyway, thanks for joining us. We'll see you in the numbers later. Take care. Thanks a lot for joining me for Todd's Tips. And if you'd like more information about VO Marketing Pro or anything else related to VO, the links are listed here.